I suspect not, but I don't know. I don't have a, a real answer to that question. Um, I don't have any knowledge of even anecdotal reports that suggest it has. Uh, certainly, there are a large number of patients who say that their symptoms have come on at a particular time and they relate it to whatever changed in their life at the time. Uh, symptoms can start quite suddenly and give the appearance of being caused by something that's happened at the time. But it, it doesn't happen often enough to, be, to have any certainty of what the causation might be. Um, I, yes, I have heard about the mycin group of drugs uh, causing this. Um, and they certainly have an effect on sensory systems, some of them, uh, but mainly auditory. Um, but I'm, I'm not aware of any evidence that does anything that suggests that maybe there's, there's a link. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced by what's been written. Since I don't know what precisely causes visual snow, I can't say what precisely doesn't cause visual snow. In my experience, it would be unusual and certainly there's no consistent prescription medication that causes visual snow. There's a problem of attribution. If, if it's going to start at some time and you're walking across the road, you're not going to attribute it to walking across the road. If it happened to be at the time you were taking some medicine, you might attribute the two. We haven't found, a con we haven't found any reliable link in the very large population of patients that we've looked at. As far as any kind of prescription medication that causes visual snow is linked to it, there's been no direct link established, to be honest. I mean, we can't say that, you know, X, Y, Z medi medication will cause visual snow. There's been no link established at all that I know of. 